If you're new, hit that sub button, like the video, and turn on notifications. Now let's get it! Alright, welcome back to another video. On this video, we're going to be talking about EV training. EV training is very important in this game. Alright, so I've, I've looked up online and see if anyone did a guide about EV training, and it hasn't. It appeared that not much people did a guide on EV training, so yeah, that's what I'm going to show you about today. Alright, so for EV training, you're going to need a couple things. Um, You're going to need this game pass right here, the advanced stat viewer. This is a very important game pass because this game pass let, uh, gives you the ability to see base stats, training points, and unique points. Training points is what you're going to need because EV training in this game is basically training points. So you're going to need this. It's just 50 Robux. So I, I highly recommend getting this game pass if you're going for a competitive in this game or a PvP. If you want to destroy your friends, you're going to need this game pass. This game pass is very important. All right. So for EV training, what you got to need to know is this. All right. So this stat right here, uh, don't mind this. This is very bad. Don't follow this for this uh, Lumion because um, these are the stats I just got when I was leveling this uh, Lumion up. So don't follow this. Because uh, Todd Tob doesn't use special attack, but yeah. All right, so as you can see, I have 174 speed and 200 attack, and then um, this right here is the total. TP is what you need for for PVP. Like if you want to train a Pokemon in, in a base specific stat, like let's say I want my Todd Tob to have a lot of energy, I can EV train it in energy. It's an, so basically for EV training, what you need to do is you need to kill specific Lumians to get EV points. Like, as you can see for this antsy, I've been killing a lot of um, Lumions that give health. So, that's why this has 200 health, and I'm currently working on defense and special defense. Right now, you can't really reset your EVs. So, um, like, as you can see for this one, I don't really want this to have health TP or EV. But you can't reset it since Battle Coliseum isn't out. So, if you mess up, you have to just wait till the Battle Coliseum's out or something. Or you can just keep going, and then you can just reset it when Battle Coliseum comes out, and then you can... uh. Put your points into whatever you want but yeah what you need to do is this to know which um lumians give uh, a certain stat um i highly recommend joining my discord right here and then when you join my discord the code's gonna be the code's gonna be in the description of the video i highly recommend joining my discord i have everything in here for you uh, some of this stuff's kind of outdated so i really i wouldn't recommend following these because um their last form changed their their um evolution i mean change what type of thing they are like i said in the video that's probably what's gonna happen so don't follow some of these but yeah i have everything listed in in here for the, the wikipedia i have all the starter locations i mean i have all the lumi locations i have everything in here all the typings everything i have everything including what um lumians you can kill for the certain tp points for ev training so basically let's say i want um i want uh health I want health. I mean, special defense or defense. I have to go kill a, a prope, or if I want def special defense, I have to go kill an antsy. It gives one defense point, and they're in Gale Force. So that's what we're gonna go to now. So basically, let's say as you can see right here, it's a uh, defense stat is 38, and its special defense is 85. What you can do is you can have this game pass right here, the training points game pass. This will give three times as much training points for 30 minutes. But this does cost robux if you don't have robux um it's kind of it's gonna be kind of hard because each lumion right now in the current in the game right now they only give one tp point for whatever reason that's why it's kind of hard to ev train in brick bronze some of the trainers gave like three or four but right now they all give one tp point so that's kind of annoying but yeah it's kind of it's what we have to work with for now but okay so as you can see is I, I, oh my god i'm stuttering as you can see i'm at the gale forest if you come in here as you can see remember this is 38 and this is 85 i have the booster activated so it's going to give me three times that so we're going to walk in the grass here we're at the gale forest and find the prope okay the prope is right here so prope is going to give me if you check the discord defense and special defense point when i kill the prope it's going to give all my pokemon that are in my party i mean all my lumens that are in my party a special defense and defense point if i have the exp share on it's gonna give everyone it except the person it's gonna give it to everyone since i have the exp share on the exp share is a game pass um it's right over here whoops my bad so the key items this exp share uh all the lumians will gain the exp point if i turn i can turn this off and if i turn it off only the lumian in the front will gain the exp point 
but I want it on because I want everyone in my party to get the point. So as you can see, wait, that's turned off. Okay, it's on while I'm tripping. But like, yeah, as you can see, if I check the ANSI now, it went up from uh, 85 and now it's 88 and now defense is 41. That's basically how you TP train. TP train is very important in uh, Lumion Legacy. If you want your stats to look very sharp like this, like I don't know, if you want your stats to look like this, very sharp, you don't you want to have like a gigantic amount of speed or a gigantic amount of special attack. This is what you do. You have to TP train. It's going to get a easier as long along the way when um, we get more trainers and Lumians to fight. Hopefully they make it easier because right now it's kind of really hard to TP train. But yeah, as you can see, we're not going to get any more updates until uh, trading and breeding. I mean, trade. Yeah, trading and um, PVP drops. So yeah, if you want to make a PVP team, now is probably like the time to do it. If you want to make an early PVP team, don't do don't do anything too serious. But yeah, um, that's pretty much how you TP train in this game. It is very important. And also, I know someone's gonna ask this question: Does corrupt does killing corrupted Lumians give TP? I think it does, but I may be wrong. I've never tried it on a corrupted. But yeah, as you can see, we're gonna kill this propa and then we're gonna get more points. But yeah, that's pretty much how you TP train this game. Uh, I wouldn't really uh, go too far on TP training unless you're like a tryhard sweaty trying to destroy all your friends in PvP. But that's pretty much it for how you TP train. So anyway, I'm out now. Like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. If this video helped you a lot, please like the video. We're almost at uh, 20k subs, so make sure you subscribe too. And I'll see you guys later.